What's up, everybody? It's your point meme here. You know, uh, I always forget about this because I only get clothes every like six months. Um, but there's always like a special uh, sort of grace period whenever I get a new piece of clothing where whenever I'm home, it's all I wear. Um, and that was the case with the uh, jacket. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was the case with the jacket and that was definitely the case with the hoodie. Um, and that was the case with the jeans. Um, and it's the case with this hoodie. It's really cool. It's really cool, you guys. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I, you know, I would have gotten a size down if I'd known it would be this big, but I'm not too mad about it at all, especially for how low of a price I got it at. Um, and especially considering I, you know, sort of jerry-rigged this and it won't go over my hands now. Well, you know, because like, my main problem was that the cuffing went over my hands and so I had to like push my hand through, but now I don't have to push my hand through. If anything, it just kind of rolls over and it just obscures my hand, but my hand is still fully, fully available and I can grab things and it totally works. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with it. It's a good purchase. It's cool. Um, yeah, so I worked today um, and I'm gonna be working all this week, which I'm really happy about. Um, I, uh, what? I um, woke up at 4.50, yeah, I woke up at 4.50 this morning. I brushed my teeth, washed my face. Uh, my face is a little red, which is interesting because it, it I, I don't know what causes that. Um, what? Um, yes, yeah, so I woke up this morning, brushed my teeth, washed my face, came to work, replaced some, um, you know, whenever I show up at work, I, there's always like tools lying around and stuff, so I just put them away. Um, charge batteries on the wireless DeWalt tools we have. Um, I'm pretty sure wireless refers almost exclusively to wireless communication. I think when you say what I meant to uh, one second, really quick, be right back. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure wireless refers almost exclusively to wireless communication. Um, I think I meant to say cordless. I replaced all the batteries on the cordless tools lying around and uh, you know, I, char I charged them, I mean. Um, I checked out the new clamp cart, um, which I'm really, I'm happy about. Um, I can, like in theory, I can build things, you know, uh, but my boss is a carpenter, so um, it wouldn't make much sense for me to build anything, uh, considering there is someone who has 30 years of experience, you know, in the same building, so. Um, you know, he built this clamp cart, um, which I'm really happy about because all the clamps used to just be like on these two pieces of wood in the shop. And we have so many, I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of out of breath. Um, I don't know why I'm just sort of out of breath on days where I work. That's probably bad. I, I, I uh, don't know exactly what that is though. Um, yeah, uh, so the clamps used to just be sort of on this, um, on these two pieces of wood and uh, on these two pieces of wood in the shop and it sucked um because we have so many clamps and they just can't fit on those on that wood um yeah what else sorry guys i've had a constant airflow in my room like i usually have my fan on and now that my fan's off this is getting sweaty so i'm gonna take this off uh okay i'm back so yeah i'm happy about the clamp cart uh, and then my boss arrived, so I was able to work in the... Uh, we have sort of this plate, uh, we have this sump, which is a, sort of a gigantic bucket. I don't know, it's like the size of a house, you know, it's uh, uh, floor plan wise. From the top down, it's about the size of a house. I have to bend down when I'm in there. Um, I have to bend over when I'm in there because there isn't enough headroom. It's barely, it's not six feet tall, uh, it's, but it's like the floor plan of a house from the top down. And um, you know, with where we store the water for models, um, and so something that uh, so we drained out all the water. Um, God, this is, this is so monotonous and terrible, and everybody knows what I'm doing, so I barely have to explain it. So this is why I'm having so much trouble with it. Um, but uh, it's it's like it's full of water, and I'm getting all the water out because there's something wrong with the waterproofing, so we need to like respray it, like respray the waterproofing. Um, so like, oh yeah, we, we need to like respray the waterproofing. Um, so we need to remove all the water from it, of course, and we need to remove all the dirt from it. And that's a big thing. The water's dirty. The water's not potable. Um, 
which I'm pretty sure means you can't drink it? Let me look that up. Um, my entry key hasn't been working, sorry guys. Potable. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, it means you can't drink it. Uh, yeah, so our, our water is not potable. Um, so our, our sump water isn't potable. So um, you can't... Uh, uh, it's full of dirt and rocks and dirt. And that's fine when we're running the models because it doesn't matter if the water's a little dirty, you know, because uh, we're not drinking out of it. Um, but it does matter because at the bottom of the sump, the dirt builds up and builds up and builds up, the rocks build up and build up and build up, and eventually it becomes a big deal, which is why I'm in it. Um, and you know, um, so, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just kind of scrubbed, just with this brush, and I was just scrubbing, I was on my knees a lot of the day. Um, I, it's, it's difficult enough to where I closed my move ring on my Apple Watch. Um, I burned 924 calories today, um, which is about as many calories I burn when I walk five, four, four miles, like, yeah, like four miles on the treadmill. Um, so imagine walking four miles on the treadmill. Uh, that's about as hard as, uh, as it is. I don't know. It's, it's physically actually not that difficult. Um, it's difficult enough to where I have to like breathe through my mouth, like I can't breathe through my nose, I'm like, like I'm, I'm breathing through my mouth, um, but it's not difficult enough to where it's like, I'm like sweating a little bit, but it's not, it's not like an actively very physically difficult, like laborious activity, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it's not like, um, it's not like making concrete, uh, or cement, um, I don't know what the difference is. I used to know what the difference is, now I don't. Um, it's not like making the stuff that goes into the spinny thing with the water in the mix. Um, it's not like that. And it's not like, um, what's another thing? <laughs> Moving large bags of sand, if you've done that. Um, and it's not like brick throwing, uh, which might be a little more common than carrying around bags of sand. Um, yeah, brick throwing and bags of sand and God, coiling up gigantic hoses, and um, uh, the fourth one, the fourth one that I'm forgetting. It's not as hard as those, but it's difficult enough to where you're sweating a little bit, and you can't breathe through your uh, nose. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, then I came home, we had stew, for breakfast I had a bagel. For lunch, my mom actually got me Jack in the Box, which I'm really happy about. It was a nice surprise. It wasn't a surprise, we got it this morning. Oh, we talked about it this morning. Um, but yeah, my mom was like, we should go somewhere for lunch. Um, and we ended up having to negotiate it a little bit because um, I need to be taking my lunch break at the same time as my boss, uh, just to optimize time. Um, it Neither of us are at peak efficiency if only one of us is in the, the lab, you know? Uh, and if both of us are in the lab, we're both operating at peak efficiency because uh, I can help him with things and I can ask him questions and we're at peak efficiency. So it just makes sense for us to take our lunch breaks at the same time. Um, so I was like, well, you know, my mom takes my, my mom takes lunch at 10, and I take lunch at 12. So, you know, like would I have to leave at 10 and the, or like would my mom have to wait? And so she, she ended up just, um, uh, uh, like leaving at about 12 and, and coming back and it was actually really nice because it ended up, it did end up making her have to, it did end up making her have to um, eat lunch at 12, which I did, uh, I just kind of realized. Um, that's really nice of her. Um, yeah, so I guess my mom did delay her lunch by two hours to get me Jack in the Box. That's so nice. Oh my god, I love my mom. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, nothing else really went on. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just hanging out. Uh, I'm just doing my thing. I hope everybody has a good day. And um, yeah, see you, dude. Bye.